One of the options you have on a WordPress website is to add media to your page. You can add media in lots of different formats, so you can add it in the format of a picture um, or a video or anything like that. So in order to add media, you have the option to up along here, you hover over the media and then you have the option to view the library or to add new media. So we go in first and we we'll view the library. And this brings us to the page where we it will present us with uh, images that we've already uploaded. Now we, uh, we have the option here to add new media as well. So if we click on it, and it brings us to a page where we can select the images to be uploaded to our media library. So we click on select files, and we can select an image from our computer. So I'm going to select this one here and select open and as you can see it's uploaded and once it's uploaded fully you can click on to edit the image and it opens up a new tab so the options that you have in here when you're editing an image is you can give it alternative text Now this is very important and in terms of screen readers it's vital for people who are surfing the internet using uh, screen reading devices uh, people who are visually impaired so you want to put a description of the actual image in here so in our case our description is going to be shopping trolley so if we go back up here and we look again at our image, that's the size of our image there and it's telling us that it's 600 pixels wide by 560 pixels in height. It's 37 kilobytes in size, it's a JPEG and this is the name of our file. And this here is the actual link to our image. So if we were to copy that and we open up a new tab here and actually paste it into our tab, it should bring us to the actual image itself. So you can link directly to an image. So if we close that that down and you can actually go in here and you can edit this image, say if it's too big, uh, we can decrease the size of the image, say we want to bring it down to maybe 500 pixels. So you edit the image and you have the option to uh, scale the image down. So it's at 600 pixels here we'll bring it down to 500 pixels and it automatically resizes the other side to it so you click on scale and you click on update and once you click on update you can see now our dimensions have changed we're 500 pixels by 467 pixels there so that's the size of our image our alternative text is shopping trolley so once we do that we click on update and we can go back to our library now and that should be added to our library and there it is as the last image that we added in now what we can also do here the same thing we can do with our pages we can actually delete the image as well and we can go back in and edit the image as well